Hello, so here we are today with this electric digital 2000 watt single induction hob cooker. So as you can tell with the title, it's an induction cooker. So I'm doing the narration today, my name's Reginald, and I usually do the Reginald Repairs videos on Polluted Halo channel. We've got Salik there cooking, our very own Salik Hunt, and uh, he said he's lost his voice, and I believe he got a dumpling stuck in his mouth. So anyway, back to the induction cooker. The induction cooker by Electric. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it is a very quick and reliable device. So, and as you can see in the video, we are making a vegetable stew. Well, you'll notice that it will be a vegetable stew once it's cooked, and uh, our very own Salik Hunt will be adding the ingredients as we go and as we test out the induction hob cooker. So as you can see, Salik has put some onions into the pan. Make sure you get the appropriate pans that conduct whatever has to be conducted to make the cooker work. And in this case, we've got a stainless steel pan. And apparently, iron pans will do as well as stainless steel pans. So, as you probably saw there when I was gibbering away, Salik added some garlic via the garlic crusher. And now he's adding the mushrooms. Give that a little bit of a stir. We had to tweak around a little bit with the induction hob. And you can adjust the power input plus the temperature via the buttons at the bottom of the induction cooker. So there's Salik adding a few potatoes there into our vegetable stew. And he's got the temperature set on 200, which is obviously quite high. And that's the highest temperature this particular induction cooker goes to. So now Salik's reducing the temperature, and he's reduced it down to 80. 80 degrees Celsius. So you can see us heating up there. You can see the steam coming off the vegetables. Now, you one would have thought that uh, it would have boiled at 100, but it was actually boiling and simmering away quite nicely at 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Which is kind of a violation to the laws of physics, but there we are. So, adding in some frozen spinach to the saucepan, as you can see, and some frozen peas. I believe Salik has been emptying out his freezer making sure everything's used up before he fills his freezer again with fresh vegetables and items. So this dish is vegetarian. Suitable for vegetarians, of course. It's going to be a vegetable stew, and Salik will add some dumplings to the mix at the end. And they are also vegetarian dumplings, made with vegetable suet. So there are some frozen mixed vegetables, as you can see, and we're just stirring in the mix while the cooker cooks nicely. So the induction cooker actually works in a similar way, or the same way, as what a microwave, how a microwave would work. The molecules in the pan are vibrated via whatever goes through them, I believe perhaps microwaves, I do not know for sure, I'll have to look that up. But yes, the, so the, the molecules, the atoms, I should say, vibrate within the cooking vessel, in this case a stainless steel pot, and the friction with the atoms rubbing together causes the heat, as does a microwave when you put your food into the microwave. So when you release the pot from the hob, the base, the only heat that is transferred into the actual hob is the heat from the cooking vessel. So he has some herbs there, such as a little bit of curry powder, salt and pepper, mint sauce, and some chipotle flakes. So that'll give us a little bit of flavor to our stew, plus around about four vegetable stock cubes. Well, if you, if you, uh, take the pot from the hob, the hob will turn off automatically after around five seconds. It might be ten, I cannot remember. 
So yeah, Salik there is messing around with the temperature, covering up the stew. Tries to get some heat into the stew. There's some various other options on your touchpad on the hob, such as keeping your food warm. You just have to press the little food warm icon on the hob. So there we can see we're putting in some vegetable dumplings. Or dumplings made from vegetarian thingies. So they're frozen into the pan. And away we go. So you can see Salik there is turned up to 100, always going up to 120. 140. So he just wants to bring this to the boil, and then reduce, once it's to the boil, reduce the heat to a simmering temperature, which will most likely be 80 degrees. So you'll have to obviously look at your instruction manual with your hob when you get it, but it's a very reliable piece of kit. If you're used to conventional cookers, it might take a little while to get used to this particular cooker. Induction hob. So there you can see the stew is bubbling away there. And after a little while, we take off the lid of the saucepan and just turn those dumplings over. And then we'll simmer for a little while longer until the stew is fully cooked. You also have a timing option on the hob. Um, I don't, I don't especially use the timing option, but you can use the timing option if you choose to. So there we are. There's our stew cooked, and Salik is there having a good taste of the dumplings. I think we're all fans of dumplings around here. Taking the pan away from the hob, and it's easy to wipe down. Also, wipe down and clean. I think we'll all agree that we would like a cooker that is easy to clean. So there we got our plate, and now we're just plating up the stew and dumplings. Ready to eat. I hope Salik saves me some for a little bit later, because he can be a bit of a greedy bastard, you know. <laughs> Maybe saves some for the wife, too. So, yes, a very reliable piece of kit, and highly recommended, is the Electrique Induction Hob and quite a good price also. This one was bought at around £35, which I believe was a reduction of the full price, which may be around £60. Yeah, wiping it down. You can see a little icon there flash flashing H, which indicates that the hob is hot. But it doesn't take very long to cool down, and it flashes to L once it is cooled. So anyway, there we are. There's the electric induction hob. I hope you enjoyed watching and please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Bye.